everyone. A tree diagram shows the four possible outcomes when a coin is tossed twice. And we're going to use H for heads and T for tails. And the four outcomes, therefore, would be H, 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 T, T, H, and T, T. We're going to make a T tree diagram showing the outcomes if the coin is tossed three times. So here's your tree diagram. And your outcomes are basically, if you look at this, H, H, and then H, T, and then you have T, H, and T, T. That's your sample space there. All right. Now it says um, make a tree diagram that shows the outcomes if a coin is tossed three times. So since we already have this part, let's just, this is the first toss. This one's the second. And now let's do the third. And I might need to move that over. So let's do that. So this is going to be uh, make your branches. And we're going to have heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails. And this would be your third way. So your uh, possible uh, outcomes are going to be, um, let's see, um, heads, heads, heads. Heads, uh, heads, tail. All right, and then we're going to do heads, tail, heads, and heads, tail, tail. And then we're going to go from here. We have um, tails, heads, heads. Basically, I'm just looking at this and then that one. All right. Then we have tails, heads, tail. And finally, let's do this one. We have tails, tails, head, and tails, tails, tails. So there's eight possible outcomes. Now, it says the solid lines of the tree diagram are called branches, and the elements on the bottom row are called the leaves. So we're going to state how many branches and leaves in our diagram. So um, there's two branches here. Um, let's do here four, and this is eight. So when you add that up, you're going to get uh, 14 <coughs> branches. And if you count uh, these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we have 8 leaves. And the final question, it says, how many branches and leaves would there be in a tree diagram showing the uh, toss of a coin 10 times? So what we're going to do is the number of branches. And so that would be 2. And we're going to add them up like we did before. Plus uh, 4. Plus 8. Plus, and you can go all the way to 2 to the 10th power. Now recall this is like 2 to the first, 2 squared plus 2 cubed. The next one would be 2 to the fourth plus dot 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 plus 2 to the 10th. Now you could take your calculator and calculate all that, but since this is a geometric series, we can use this formula here and um, plug it in the formula for the sum of the 10 times. So your first term is 2, 
that's your A, 1 minus your common ratio. Your common ratio is um, 2 because you keep multiplying by 2. And then we're going to, their total number is the number of terms is 10. And then you fill in the bottom, which is 1 minus 2. <coughs> and you put that in the calculator, uh, and you're going to get 2,046. So that's the number of leaves that would be in the tree. And again, that's a lot easier if you know this formula. Um, if you've already had uh, geometric uh, sequences and series, you'll know how to do that. <coughs> now the number of leaves... It's just going to be the last row, which is just 2 to the 10th, and that's going to be 1,024. So this is your leaves, and this is your branches. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.